Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones today is 22nd day of April, being with three of Easter, and year be of the church calendar, and being Thursday. I read this will be coming from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 26 to 40. Our response sound will come from Psalm 66, verse 1. Our gospel message will come from John's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 44 to 51. The theme of our message is, to is, I am the living bread that come down from heaven. I am the living bread that come down from heaven. And now why today you can see that Jesus said to the crowd, no one can come to me unless sent by my father. Unless my father draws him. So you can't come to Jesus on your own. The father must draw you. And I will raise him up on the last day. You know, telling the crowd. He's reading the prophets. He's, he's reading the prophets and has been like that. And they shall be taught by God. People who come to him should be taught by God. Everyone who had and learned from God. Everybody who have learned and heard from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone have seen the Father. I said the one who can be sent from heaven. Truly, truly, I say to you, this is our talking to the crowd. He will believe in me as eternal life. I am the bread of life. These are what telling them about the bread of life. Anyone who believes in me will have eternal life. He said, your father has ate manna from the, in the desert, but they are dead. This is the bread we come down from heaven. That the man may eat of it and live forever. Will not die again. And Jesus is going to tell them, I am the living bread, which came down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. Bread I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. That's because they breathe contradiction, and people could not even accept this teaching. And the bread they will eat is so fresh. And the bread came down for anyone who eats it will not die again. He will live forever. They begin to imagine others that have died. How can they live forever? They couldn't understand it. They couldn't imagine it. They couldn't fight on it. But that's his teaching that I kept up from heaven. I'm the bread of life that kept that from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread I will give for the life of the world is my own flesh. And the world too fresh. And it, is among us. The world too fresh and is among us. So if you take this world, you will live forever. And you can see this, the world that gives life. Nothing else can give you life except the word of God. The word that is true. The word that is light. The word that is God. The word that is spirit. So when you accept this word and the bread, you have lived forever. Because the word you accepted is eternal. You will be eternal. The word that you accepted is holy, you become holy. The word that you accepted is glorious, you become glorious. The word you accepted is light, you become the light of the world. The word you accepted is truth, you become truthful. The word you accepted is God, you become children of God. And he said in John chapter 1, verse 12, for all who accepted it, they are given the privilege to become children of God. And that's why today you can see this word of God being given life to people all over the world, fulfilling it today 
That's why today Philip was sent to go to Jerusalem down to Gaza, a desert road. And he went on this road as directed by the Spirit of God and saw an Ethiopian eunuch, the minister of Kadia, the queen of Ethiopia, who was in his, in his chariot and was reading prophet Isaiah. He said, how can I understand without somebody guiding me? And they called Philip to join him in his chariot. And Philip joined the chariot and was reading a verse of the Bible where I was said this was kind that they should to be slaughtered. He wasn't talking before he shared us. He was denied of his right and sentenced to death. He was denied in his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? He was reading this verse of the Isaiah. For his life taken off from the earth. And they asked him, Who, what is the prophet talking about? Is he talking about himself or somebody else? And then Philip opened up the scriptures and began to preach to him about Jesus Christ, crucified and risen from the dead. And the word sank into him. And when they were passing the stream, he asked Philip, What is remaining for me to be baptized? He had to stop. And Philip came down and baptized him after selling the message of the word as his life. The word are too fresh, and the word too fresh in him, and he demanded for baptism. And Philip baptized him. After baptizing him, what follows? He was so happy, and Philip was taken away by the spirit. He disappeared from him, and the Ethiopian was going home rejoicing. And Philip was sent Again, passing, finding himself in Azotus. And passing, he preached the gospel on all the towns he came to Caesarea. He went about preaching the word that too fresh, the word that came down from heaven, the bread of life, that every person who eats it will not die again, he will live forever. And you can see. That Jesus' proclamation, I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. Anybody who eat this bread will live forever. And then the person who live, and the word is going to give us is the life of the world. This is fresh. And you can see the Ethiopian, you know, today coming back to new life. And that's what the psalmist continued to proclaim. Cry out to, with joy all the earth. God the Father has said that to his son. We're happy. We're celebrating it. And that's why this type of we're celebrating our eternal life. And we shall no more die. We will resurrect to new life. May God help us to appreciate this and live it out through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be out all of us and we celebrate the living bread that came down from heaven for, to give us life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Lift up the light of your face on all of us.